and barking from hard courts here in Rotorua. Now this video is about getting your house ready to sell or to rent. So what we've done at our house here is that we're getting it ready to rent out. So one of the trends, I, well, I think I call it a trend, is that we're seeing is that people are wanting properties that are low maintenance. Not as many people have the time to spend in their gardens as much as possibly they used to. Now don't get me wrong, there's still people that love gardens and want to spend time in their gardens, but I think that a lot of people would rather not have, and want to have time to do other things. So what we've done with our garden is that we've jumped in here because previously when I was a golf professional at Rotorua Golf Club, we didn't have time to spend a lot of time in our massive gardens that we have here at our house. So now we've got a little bit more time. What we've done, we've got, right, let's get it down to the low maintenance. So what we've done is weed matted all the gardens, or the main garden, and then what we've done, we've put the lime chip on top and the black bark. Now what it's done, it's modernized it a little bit. It was a lot of work, which we'll talk about in a minute, but we've managed to make it low maintenance. So when someone comes to rent, or when you go to sell, people will see it as a low maintenance section. Now that means you might potentially pull in more and, and people that sort of don't want to spend so much time in the garden weeding every weekend. Now, how long and how much did this cost? So what we did, we got three cubic cubic meters of the lime chip. We got one cubic meter of the black black bark. Okay. Now that took a couple of uh, trailer loads, and it was ended up being around a thousand dollars, including the weed mat. Now that's that's a thousand dollars, and probably around. I imagine two full days of work. You know, and it's pretty hard work to put the weed mat down first of all, and then to manually move all the chip into the areas and you know place it properly. Okay, so roughly around 18 hours of, of work. Now, if you were paying someone else to do that, of course that would go up. A, you know, the price would increase. But if you're doing it yourself and you're a little bit handy, you could do it over several weeks and start to tidy up area by area. Obviously, if you buy bulk with the, um, the lime chips or whatever you use, then it will make it a bit cheaper. So as I take a little bit of a tour around, I'll show you some of the areas that we've done and how we've modernized it to help make this a low maintenance section for someone coming in to rent. Any questions you have on, on ways that you could make your house more low maintenance, please contact me, I'm more than happy to come over and have a, have a look around your property. If you're looking to sell or if you're looking to rent, then get us over there and we'll have a chat. And Barclay, askcamp.co.nz or give me a call 027 251 9937. So here we trimmed the trees there and we got rid of the unnecessary plants, weeded, and then kept the lovely old roses that we have there and um, put down the lime here we are in the, this is into the, into the garden area now this here was a bit of a mess underneath the apricot tree so just put the pot down there for now so this just cleaned up an area that has a, a big old um, grape vine there here we are in our area, this is all bush uh, we've cleaned it all out, it's sort of, it's, it's roughly paved and um, it looks much tidier than it was. This is out the front of the house now. This here was a little bit messy with the weeds, so this has tidied it up a lot. Um, we'll let those flaxes grow through. And here's at the, uh, the front entrance we have um, with a few fruit trees and so forth. It, it really has uh, tidied it up nicely and uh, moving down to the, uh, the roses that we have along the wall.